Primary cells are believed to be more biologically relevant tools than cell lines. For studying human and animal biology, Atkins as well as many researchers have chosen to work with cells lines, as they are generally highly proliferative and easier to culture and transfect. So the debate over using primary cells versus cell lines are becoming even more violent. Normal primary cells are terminally differentiated cells, excluding stem or progenitor cells. They directly derived from living tissue or origin. So primary cells retained the natural feature of the tissue where they had been isolated. Generally, primary cells retain normal morphology, cellular function, growth characteristics, cellular markers, signaling and genetic integrity when propagated in culture. Primary cells from different species may be used, allowing you to highlight potential differences between humans and preclinical test species. Before in vivo studies mouse or rat cells can be used to refine doses and reduce the number of animals required for preclinical toxicology. Human cells can be used to determine accuracy of extrapolating human data from an animal model. Unlike primary cells, cell lines are cells that have been continually passaged over a long period of time and have acquired homogeneous genotypic and phenotypic characteristics. Typically, cell lines are created or identified to fill particular research functions and have the benefits of lower initial cost, unlimited passages and elevated output signals for assay development. Thus, over the past few decades, cell lines are favorite for many researchers. There are many differences between primary cells and cell lines. First, primary cells have a limited lifetime, only several generations they will die. But cell lines always have potential for large number of cell passages under proper in vitro conditions. Second, because primary cells directly come from living tissue, the cellular function, growth characteristics, cellular markers, signaling and genetic integrity of them remain unchanged. On the contrary, Cell lines over time can cause genotypic and phenotypic variation. Third, retain functional enzymatic and signaling pathways of parent tissue. Primary cells can provide high quality data in researches. Yet cell lines can't offer the same quality result. At last, cell lines are easy to maintain or propagate, need less cost and time. At this point, primary cells are beaten out by cell lines. For decades, cell lines have played a critical role in scientific advancements. Researchers have become increasingly cautious when interpreting data generated from cell lines only. But now, the game has changed. The vast majority of cell biologists would agree that normal primary cells are closest to the real thing. Historically, cell lines have been useful research tools, however, they are subject to a number of inherent risks. Due to their altered or engineered nature creating an artificial cell-based system. Using a well-characterized, terminally differentiated cell type can deliver confidence and assurance in data generated in vitro. Identifying their composition and performance characteristics helps develop legitimate, widely accepted in vitro research tools and systems. To elucidate the complex functions, mechanisms, pathways and mysteries related to cell biology. Entrusting biomedical research to verified or more thoroughly characterized cell culture tools will deliver the most meaningful and trustworthy experimental results short of performing in vivo work. With alternatives to immortalized cell lines available in greater numbers and varieties, primary cells are a viable replacement to cell lines in many research programs. However, cost to use maintenance and culture, and other unique challenges associated with primary cells should be considered. So how are primary cells used? Where are they being used? With the advent of standardized, commercially available primary cell products, their use has increased in parallel with the research community's comfort level. 
Their continued emergence as a legitimate biomedical research tool has found primary cells in diverse research applications. Ranging from basic cell biology and biochemistry to complex high-content imaging. Briefly highlights some of the applications where primary cells are being used to investigate our understanding of cell biology. And its complex processes to develop novel therapies, cellular pathway analysis, admin toxicology studies, regenerative medicine, adult stem cells, metabolic disease research. Comparative studies versus transformed cell lines, heights slash HCA screening, and other platforms, such as cell gene expression fingerprint, Rene and Myrna studies. Heights slash HCA screening now is a hottest primary cell application. Large pharma and biotech are utilizing primary cells as better methods and reagents are available. Commercial cell providers have made purchasing and integrating primary cells into biomedical research exceptionally easy. Creative BioArray is a division of Creative Dynamics and found in 2004. Creative BioArray offers 35 human cell systems with over 160 different cell types. Moreover, we also provide our customers primary cells from over 13 types of other animals. Not only can Creative BioArray offer such a wide range of primary cells of humans, but we also have a selection of primary cells of animals for comparative testing. Many cell systems come with a company pledge that the cell system will perform as indicated with full satisfaction guaranteed. It's like buying insurance for your research. Commercial cell providers have made purchasing and integrating primary cells into biomedical research exceptionally easy. Partnering with the appropriate primary cell provider can quickly and efficiently advance cell-based programs by alleviating many pitfalls and delays associated with internal development. We always devote to helping our customers accelerate life sciences research, solve complex analytical challenges and increase laboratory productivity. We are looking forward to cooperating with you.